is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Rome. It's Jordan Black. And welcome to the 26th episode of Gospel Ride Along. <laughs> so I'm here with my good friend, and I could always just say a brother. I'm yeah. here with my brother, yeah. Jordan Black. Jordan Black, yeah. would you go ahead and tell them about this a little bit about yourself? My name is Jordan Black. Just graduated high school, class of 2021. What school did you graduate from? Archibald High School. Red Fox! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plan on going to the Air Force after, afterwards. That's, That's good. Funny. The boy said he finna serve <laughs> in our armed forces. Yes, Salute to all the soldiers out there. If you're a soldier and you're watching this, go ahead and comment what branch and, 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 and just, you know, send out some love to the gospel right along. You know, but we ain't gonna keep y'all too long because y'all already know what this is. This right here is our back to school bash student slash teacher feature. So we're gonna be featuring more college students, more high school students, teachers, principals, anybody that works in the school district. So without further ado, as always, we do have our mask. We do have our Lysol to get rid of all the bacterialized and hand sanitizer so we can stay safe because y'all COVID-19 is still real. And you already know I got to say it for the people out there. Make sure you like, comment, share, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Because if you're not subscribed to Rome's World then, what planet are you from? Now let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna go ahead and put my seatbelt on. I see Black said so he ready. He already got his seatbelt on. <laughs> Y'all, it's only right that we go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Father God, we just want to thank you for allowing us to have another episode of Gospel Ride Along. Lord, I thank you for my special guest, Jordan Black. Father God, I thank you for allowing us to be able to reach the youth in such a magnificent way. Father God, through this episode, I pray that you let me and Jordan decrease and you increase within us so that we may give special advice. We may give a good word. We may touch somebody out there who is watching this video who may be going through something and we may speak on something that they may be going through in their lives that may touch them in a way. Father God, I pray that you let this message reach a bunch of people and keyword a bunch of people because we all need a little bit of Jesus in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. You just let us just stay covered as we travel these highways. Amen. Amen. Now let's see what Jordan got for us to start us off. Hold on. By the Walls Group. Can I play it? Can I play it? All right now. Okay. Oh, this is my song right here. I'm gonna have to sing a little bit, y'all. Like guitar. Like, you like that? Okay. <laughs> if you know the song, sing along with us. Come on now. Hold on. Joy comes in the morning light. Hold on, just try your life. It will be alright. What do you say? When you have to cry. Come on now. Joy comes in 
somebody say, hold on. Hold on. They said, hold on, it's going to be all right. Jordan, Sir. what you what you got to say about that? I like, I like the guitar. I like, I like the beat. You like the beat and you like the guitar in there? Yeah. Well, you see, I like this song right here, Black, because the message behind it is so powerful. It says, hold on, it'll be all right. That means no matter what you're going through, no matter what God may throw in your path, everything is going to be all right. You right. see, we may have some things in our lives that God throws at us that are bad, but it's going to work out for our good. Yeah. And a lot of people got to understand that everything that God does is only to make us stronger, smarter, and to be, be we got to be prepared for the battle that's coming ahead. You, you see, understand. you got to understand what? Everything, everything he stole, that's not gonna be good. Come on now, Black. Yeah. Talk to him, Black. <laughs> yeah. Tell him what's up out there. <laughs> Cause y'all, to elaborate on what Black said, we are all getting ready for a fight in our lives. We are all getting ready for a fight that God is preparing us for. Because see, in order to elevate. You got to fail in life. You have to fail. Because if you fail, you learn what not to do. And then you get better at doing those things. You see, when God throws little obstacles in our way, he's only preparing us for something great that he has created before we were even thought about being brought into this world. You see, everybody on this world is destined for greatness. But it's up to us on how fast we want to get there. You see, me, in the last episode, we talked about the God being a GPS and how we rely on that GPS to a certain extent. But you see, I'm here to tell y'all, we got to put our whole trust into that GPS we call God. And you know, you know, people think GPS stands for, for global positioning system. I like to say GPS stands for, for God positioning system because God is getting ready to position our systems into something great. Can I get an amen out there? Amen. Somebody go ahead and comment down below, amen. You see, and y'all can use it if y'all want. I want y'all to use that. God positioning system because the position that God is getting ready to put us all in it can only match nothing other than the power that he has mm, mm -mm. and y'all I'm here to tell y'all right now again that the fight is going to get harder but with God's help we all can last the fight so black when it comes to good gospel music, good worship music, what is something that you look for 
in in those styles of worship and gospel music? Something that that sticks out to you the most? So it depends on the day. Sunday, you know, it'll be all kind of slow. Raining, might be raining. Get something smooth here. Instruments better. Slow song. You feel real good. Get an upbeat song. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But yeah, y'all. We gonna keep everything going. Like Black said, it depends on the day. And right now, I'm feeling real good. So Black, I gotta go to your next song that you have planned for us, cause it goes with what I just said before. The fight must keep going on. No matter what, you got to keep fighting. You fight on. All right now. This is another one of my songs right here, Black. Mm -hmm.
they, hey, y'all can't keep still, can you? Wait down, man. They breaking it down, Black. Taking me back right there now. <laughs> that one of my jams right there. Oh yeah. You fight on. You fight on. You fight on. And I know y'all saying, Jordan, you done said it about three times. And I'm going to tell you why I keep saying it over and over again. Because that's what we got to keep doing in the world we're living in today. As you can tell, the things in the world that are happening are not getting no easier. They're not getting no better. Think we, we are sitting in a time where we feel like we are stagnant. Where we are not moving. But I'm just telling y'all today, keep fighting. Keep fighting on. Keep your sword in your hand. Stay grounded in your faith. Read God's word. Pray to him. Talk with him. And God is going to lead you through this battle. You know, there's somebody out there right now. I just feel there's somebody watching this who's going through something right now that they feel like they just can't shake. They just can't break. They just can't get out of the current situation that they're in. Whether if it's a good situation and they're trying to elevate to an even better situation or if it's a bad situation and they're trying to elevate to a good situation. I'm here to tell y'all, God sees you struggle. God hears your cries and he's going to work everything out for your good. You may think God is punishing you, but not really. God is proving and he's shaping and he's molding you to be something more than just dust. And that's something that we talked about before on this episodes, on these episodes as well, that we are more than just dust. God created us from the dust, breathed life into us. But we are more than just dust. Come on now, y'all. I know somebody out there feeling the spirit moving. Come on, I'm doing what, Black? I'm giving it to him today, ain't it? Cause Black, you you set me up. You set me up with some, with some strong with some with some bangers on your list. You set me up. Cause that's one of my favorite songs, and I love that song because it's so simple. You fight on. You fight on, you fight on. You can't get more simple than that because we all are, are soldiers in the army of the Lord. We are all soldiers. We're strong soldiers and God has something for us in the kingdom, but we gotta keep fighting for it. We gotta keep reaching for it. We got goals and aspirations in life that we have to achieve, not because we want to, but because God said that we're going to. And listen to what I just said, not because we want to, but because God said we're going to. Anything in the Bible that God says I am, I am. Anything in the Bible that God says I can do, I can do. Anything in the Bible that God says I can have, I can have. And that's what we have to understand. God's word is forever. It lives on through everything that we do, 
everything that we say. You see, the goal in life is for people to see God in me. God in black. God in you. You don't want to walk around and see yourself. Because, see, when we represent God, we have to remember we are the gateway to people finding Christ. We are the gateway to people giving their life to God. And you, we have to understand that we cannot judge, we cannot determine somebody else's worship and how they live their lives. We cannot determine somebody else's praise because see how you may praise it may totally be different from how they may praise. We don't want to be the reason why people say I don't want to put my trust in God because we judge, because we criticize. You cannot sit here and say you work for the kingdom of God, but you criticize and judge somebody every day for the things that they do. We have to let God criticize and let God judge. But I'm here to tell you today, people, if you, if you are seeking God, all you have to do is confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins so that we may have everlasting life. It's just that simple. God has done wonderful things for me, my family, my friends, and and I and I would be good, I'll be doing God a disservice if I don't tell people every day how good God is. You know, I say all the time God is good. I even made up a new word. God is amazingly awesome tastic. Come on, Black, tell them, yeah, tell them how good God is. How good God is, Black? More than good. How good? One, two, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good. You can't explain it. You can't explain how good God is because God is forever working things out for your good. He's forever working things out for your good. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, by following God's footsteps and following in the life, I'm not saying I am God, but I thrive to be more like him. I thrive to be more like him. And when we are dealing with those situations and we're trying to be more like God, it's only right that I say, once I get there, ain't no turning back.
on now, y'all. Y'all, I'm in here getting happy, y'all. I'm by the, by the end of this episode, we 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 gonna have to pull this car over <laughs> because the spirit getting heavy over here in me. Y'all don't understand because Black got me going with these songs right here. Oh, ain't no turning back. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. When I decided to give my life completely and fully to Christ back in February, y'all just don't understand. That was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life, especially at this age when we're going through so many things, especially being a black man going through these type of things in life that America has going on and other minorities and just being a, a, a person in general. We all go through things and this song right here reminds me that when I made my decision that I did the right thing because once you do it, they ain't no turning back. God is moving. God is moving in this car, y'all. God is moving in this car. I'm telling y'all God is moving in this car. Black, I don't know what you done did, but you done started something. You done started something. And and and, and since we in the mood, J Black, I, I gotta, I hate to interrupt, but you done got me happy. You done got me started. I'm gonna have to go to one of my songs for a minute. I'm going to have to go to one of my songs for a minute. I'm going to have to go to one of my songs, Jay Black. Because you done got me happy. Now you done got me started. <laughs> you done got me riled up. The spirit is moving. So you know, I got to play this song right here. I got to. It's only right. I came to tell you. Y'all, Jay Black got me in the spirit for real now, y'all. Come on now. Come on, there you go. There you go. I see y'all out there moving. I see y'all out there moving. Come on now. You know, come on, y'all. Y'all better clap your hands on this one right here. Cause what he say? I came to tell you what Jesus said. I came to tell. Jordan 
Lord, yes, Lord. See, y'all, black done got me started. Black done got me started up in here. Y'all, we serve a God so great that He gives us chance after chance after chance to make things right. I always say every day that you wake up is a chance for a new beginning, a day for you to make a better choice. A day for you to make a better decision. A day for you to change your life. A day for you to change somebody else's life. People just don't get that we, we live on this planet. We live on this world. And we just do things that we feel we have to do. When really, God is just asking us to do one thing. Believe in Him. Believe in Him. Believe in his word. Everything God said will come to pass. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's never going to change. Like I said before, anything that God says you can have, you will have. Anything God says that you will get, you will get. Anything that God says that he has planned for you, promise you, the plan will see it through. The plan will come true. Whatever goals and dreams and aspirations you have in your life, God is preparing you for those things right now. That's why you're going through the problems that you're going through. That's why you're in the situation that you're in. Because God is preparing you for something so much bigger where you're going to need the tools and you're going to need the knowledge that you learned in those situations to help you get there. You see, a lot of people, a lot of people don't get this saying when they say, you know, Black, I'm, I'm going to ask you, Black. I'm going to ask you. 
what is a diamond before it becomes a diamond? Yeah. Like the jewelry, the diamond. What is a diamond before it becomes a diamond? It's just an ordinary rock. An ordinary rock. But they always say diamonds are a girl's best friend, right? Mm -hmm. Diamonds are beautiful. They're expensive. They have value. But to make a diamond, you have to take that ordinary rock, melt it, smash it, put it up under pressure, before it can become something worth value, before it can become something that's precious, something that it can become more expensive and it is beautiful. And that is what God is doing with you right now. I think I am touching somebody right now. You see, we are the ordinary rocks getting ready to be turned into a diamond because God is putting us up under all the fire. God is putting us through the furnace. We're getting smashed. We're getting crumbled. We're breaking. We're cracking. And then just when we think we have had enough, God says, boom, you a diamond. How you did it, Blake? How you did it? Boom. You a diamond. So don't run away from your storm. Don't run away from the problems that are in your life. Face those problems head on and fight those problems. Fight those problems. Hold on, it's gonna be all right. Fight on, because once you get where God puts you, you ain't gonna wanna turn back. Come on now, somebody. Come on now, somebody. I know somebody, I want, I want y'all to just comment down below right now. Just take this time and comment down below. I am a diamond. I am a diamond. We are ordinary people. God is putting through the fire, the furnace. We are getting cracked, smashed, and everything you could possibly think of. And God is making us better than what we are yesterday. Come on now, Black. Black. I think I think somebody is feeling that out there. I think somebody is feeling it. Now, Black, my, my question for you is, being young, being one of God's chosen people, because see, people don't understand we're all God's chosen people. So I'm asking you, being God's chosen person for this episode today, what is something that you went through in your life, and you don't have to get personal, just only tell what you want to tell, that made you realize that I need God in this moment right now? I'm going through my melting point, and before I become a diamond, I'm talking about one of those situations. Alright, so, um, when you down bad, I guess you down bad, mm -hmm. nobody can come and talk to you, you can have a guy, and then being young, you know a lot of people, being young, and guy, they kind of scared, don't mm -hmm. know, so, you got to make it. You got to make the choice. Like for me, every morning I wake up at nine o'clock, I got a um, reminder every morning to read the Bible. Mm. So you got to get closer so you fight on, basically. And, and, and that's real good that at a young age, you have that mentality that you made time. You make time for God. And, and I'm glad that you said that because that goes to something else that we can make time for any and everything that we want to. But if it's time to read the Bible, we ain't got time. Time to go to church, we ain't got time. I'm busy. But I'm here to tell y'all, when you want God to work in your life, he'll never look at you and say he's too busy. When you want God to work miracles in your life, he's never going to look at you and say he's too busy. Because guess what? He knows you ain't busy. He knows you're not busy. You know why he knows you're not busy? Because Saturday night he saw you and Kratisha and Malisha and all your girls and all your homeboys. Y'all just came out from the club a whole night of partying. And you couldn't go to church. And I'm saying that not to say we're Oh, because y'all party, y'all don't love God, y'all don't do that in the third. I'm just giving y'all the facts. If we can make time for ourselves, 
and we can set aside some time for God. Because I heard a pastor say one time on TikTok, Pastor Mike Todd, there are 24 hours in a day. But God said two hours and 40 minutes don't belong to us. They belong to him. And I'm not saying you got to give an hour. I'm not saying you got to give 30 minutes. Just 10 minutes, five minutes. It don't take you long to say, dear God, thank you. It doesn't take, it don't, it don't take that long to just say, God, I thank you for waking me up this morning. God, I thank you for letting me have a place to stay. Father God, I thank you for allowing me to use my hands, my feet. Father God, I thank you for allowing me to use my sight. Father God, I thank you. Just, just a simple thank you is enough. Always be thankful for what God has given you and always praise him in advance for what he's about to do for you. You see, sometimes we love to call on God when things are bad, but we don't right. never want to call on him when things are going good. Right. We got to serve God all the time and give him the total praise. Even when we get what we prayed for, next, every time you get a chance, God, thank you for this. Thank you, because just in the blink of an eye, it can be taken away. It can be gone. It can be gone. But y'all, we ain't going to keep it too long. We're going to go ahead and move on to our last song. And Black, I think this song right here is going to set it in motion. Because I'm glad you talked about prayer. Because I feel that there are sometimes we all got to go to the prayer room sometimes. We all got to go to the prayer room. Because Black, you said you've been, you been to the prayer room a couple of times. You know how it is, you know? You know how the prayer room is. Everybody out there, comment down. Let's go to the prayer room.
This episode was a good one. Black, yeah. Mr. Jordan Black. Yes, sir. Thank you, my brother, no thank you for, for participating. Me. Thank you for having me. You know. Of course. Y'all, yeah. we have reached that mark. Just like I told TK, Black gonna have to come back. <laughs> we might have to do an episode with y'all together. Yeah. <laughs> we might have to get both of y'all in here. Because Terrence, TK, his music, and your music, y'all really set me off these two episodes. <laughs> y'all really had me going these two episodes. So we're going to have to see what y'all can do together. I got you. I see. Y'all comment down below. Y'all, matter of fact, go ahead and get this video 10 likes. 10 likes. You know, I'm going to start small. 10 likes. And we're gonna get both of them young fellas together <laughs> on the gospel ride alone. Comment down below. Then comment down below. Then comment down below. There. They gonna be back on the show. So without further ado, let's go ahead and close us out so we can go ahead and enjoy the rest of our days. Dear Father God, Lord, I want to thank you for allowing me to do this episode with my brother Jordan Black. Father God, I pray that everything that he has said today, all the songs that he has chosen, even the songs that I have put in there myself, Father God, I pray that you let this message and those songs reach somebody out there, Father God, and that they may want to seek you and know you more. Father God, I want to say congratulations to, to Jordan for graduating class of 2021. Father God, I pray that you keep him covered as he goes on his journeys and his other endeavors with the armed services and the Air Force. Father God, I pray that you let him go in there and he work hard to achieve the social status that you desire for him, Father God, while also still doing your work, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father God, yes, Lord. Well, y'all, as always, I'm Jerome. I'm Jordan. And this has been Gospel Ride Along.